Hey everybody, it's Varla the Great, and welcome back to more Splatoon. Last time, we checked out some of Splatoon's exclusive amiibo content. This time, we'll be entering our next campaign level. Level 11, Invisible Avenues. Find your path. Alright, so obviously, as the name implies, we'll be dealing with more invisible stage hazards. Alright, so uh, for an example, boom. We're able to see the pathway now. So obviously if you cover the pathway with your ink, we'll be able to see. There's octoings right here. But there's cover. Can you see them? Can you see it? Kill these octocopters. Boom. Got him. Wanna just double check? Cause I don't remember where this hunting scroll was in this state. I'm just making sure that stuff is in order. Right? Make it up here. Octo stamp. Cook it, come and get me. Boom! Yeah, dead. Okay. There's some octair moons up here. Some more, um. What is it, established octarians? Like they're more smart, smarter. There's octo balls over here. Look, as I said in a previous episode, things are starting to finally come together. That has to be the second squirrel right there. No doubt about it. That is the sunken scroll. But yeah, like I said, things are starting to come together. These things are starting to come together. Oh yeah, sunken scroll right there. Um, things are starting to come together. So a lot of the enemies we faced in the past have actually like, or they're actually like appearing in stages together. Like the octolings, the octo balls, the octocopters. They're all appearing together in in the same stages, which is cool. I remember this part, I think it's over here, there's an exit. Um, yeah, right there. So let's go in here. Kill these Octarians. Just boom! That was a combo I like to do. I shouldn't even be trying to break these crates anymore, I don't need them. All I need is armor from them. Oh yeah, I think upgrading our hero shot to have a rate of fire was a good decision over upgrading our bombs, honestly. I feel like I'm a lot more mobile, because like, I, I can just kill stuff a lot faster. Damn, right now we're just trying to find this pathway. There's a squeegee here, and obviously squeegees can be a big problem on an invisible stage, obviously. Because, you know, you won't be able to see anymore. So no, you won't be able to know where the ground is, and you'll just die. Which is no fun. No, no fun. Another balloon here. Pop! Got him. They're dead. And let's swim up here. All right. All right. This should be final checkpoint. Yep. There's armor right here. Okay. I guess I have to like build them on you know, invisible platforms or something. I don't really know what's the point of this part. It's just kind of an enemy gauntlet in my eyes. And now there's the cover. Oh god. Oh, oh god! Do I have to do it all over again? I have to do it all over again. There she blows. Zap fish in the head. I never read Cuttlefish's dialogue. I should start doing that. I only read it when we're in between worlds and, like, it interrupts the entire game. I like to focus on my commentary, which is. Yet again, but then again, it's, my commentary is not really that good. Don't fall this time, don't fall. Yes! We did it, we did it, we did it. We just gotta beat this guy. Guys, right here. Messing up. There we go, we beat the level! We beat it with flying co colors. Get it? The game is really colorful, so flying colors. So, yeah, let's check out that sunken scroll that we acquired. Twice a year, the Inkopolis Collection Fashion Show captures the hearts and minds and wallets of the city's youth. Is there no room in these creatures' minds for anything but battle and fashion? Alright. As always, we're going to be going back into the multiplayer. I know last episode we did something different, but we're going back to our multiplayer roots this episode. So I'll see you there. Oh, Callie and Marie. How I missed you in the episode we didn't see you. Even though we did see you, technically, because you were amiibo figures. <laughs> Hold on to your tentacles. It's Inkopolis news time. 
let's unveil the current regular battle stages, alright? I love riding the elevators here. So much fun. Sure, if I find you mean absolutely terrifying. Marie, tell us all about this map. Oh, uh, um, isn't the air here, uh, delicious? And now the current ranked battle stages. Splatastic. I want to try racing one of the forklifts around. Callie, you could barely ride a bike. So I read online that ink is really good for plants. Seems legit. Until next time, stay fresh! Yay! So yeah. Let's see. I just took a glimpse at the gamepad. And the final mode that we have not gone over is in rotation. So what weapon should we go over this episode? How about we go over... I don't know, I didn't go I didn't think of this beforehand. I should have, probably. I guess we'll use... I should have planned this beforehand. How about the Splatter Shot Pro? It's a weapon that we have not gone over yet. It's pretty much an upgraded Splatter Shot. It has a really good range and a slower rate of fire, and it does decent damage. It has a Splat Bomb and the Ink Strike. Alright, this was one of my favorite weapons back in the day. And I guess since we went over the Amiibo gear last episode, I'll, I'll use the Amiibo gear. Find the Squid Hair Clip. I didn't upgrade it all the way, but... Yeah. So yeah, little schoolgirl outfit. So yeah, there's one more mode we have not gone over. Rainmaker. Rainmaker is one of the easiest modes in the entire game. A lot of competitive Splatoon players would only play Rainmaker and get to, like, the S rank. They fixed this issue in Splatoon 2 by having separate rankings for every mode. In Splatoon 1, it's just one big ranking. So you may have noticed I'm B in every rank. So yes. Hopefully it doesn't go as bad as the last time we played multiplayer. You know, where nobody showed up in our round. And I'm starting to think that's gonna, what's gonna happen. Oh no. Oh, come on, please, I just want to play multiplayer. Please, I just want to play multiplayer. <laughs> oh my god, why? Why don't I let's play Splatoon 1 and now Splatoon 2? Oh man, oh man, oh man. Well, um... If not, if another person does not come, I'm gonna just... Uh... Pause the recording. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just pause the recording until the person comes. Or the four, the other five people, I don't know, four people come. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you then. Alright, so the lobby lagged out, like, a couple seconds after I stopped recording. So I could've just stayed on recording, it would've been fine. So I'm joining a new lobby, hopefully. Oh, yep, yeah, this one filled up. Perfect. Alright. So, yeah. Let's, let's get into this. So yeah, I will explain the characteristics of Rainmaker. It's actually a very fun mode. It used to be my least favorite, but I've actually started to like it in recent months when I've been playing Splatoon 2. So yeah, so the goal, Rainmaker is a big weapon. The weapon that's in the middle of the stage, and whatever team has it has to escort it to the other team's base. That's pretty much the gist of it. I'm gonna try and get the Rainmaker. I can show you what it's like. The way it controls is sort of like a charger and an ink suit combined. It has the ink suit as projectile, but um, it has like a charge. And you can't really, you're a lot slower in, in the ink than you have it. And, top that all off, you can't super jump, or use your special, or sub. So you're pretty much stuck with using the Rainmaker. Like, that's the only way they could have made it overpowered. Just get your other team to the enemy's base, and then you just like super jump there. So it's just balancing, and as you can see, it's a one-hit kill. It's it's a really it's a really good weapon to fight against. But as long as you get it while they're charging or after they charge and sh shoot it, you're pretty good. You can take it out. It's a fairly easy weapon to take out. It's just like stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, to get I gotta figure out a way to do it. Try and get close. Got it. Oh, Inkzuka, an actual Inkzuka this time. Also, when the the bubble uh, contains the rain, uh, contains the Rainmaker explodes, if if the other team is anywhere nearby, <laughs> their teammates die. They all die. It's 
it's very funny. Also, in some maps, if the Rainmaker is, like, stuck in a corner and you're, like, it's pushing you into a corner, you can actually suffocate. <laughs> it's one of the only times in Splatoon this will ever happen to you. You could just suffocate in a corner be and die because the Rainmaker crushes you. So right now, we're in the lead. Not by much, though. The other team has barely even made it past the thing. They barely made it past where you get it. I'm trying to shoot it. Okay. Well, pretty much, if you want to get ink, if you want to get, like, an ink trail that you can swim through, you pretty much have to rely on your teammates. Oh, jeez, I almost got a whole team kill. Come on. Come on. I think I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way, I think. Oh, oh, jeez. Actually, we did pretty good with Rainmaker. I was just, I mean, it's kind of fresh in my mind, because I was just playing it this morning, and I, I got pretty far with it. So yeah. Um. I have a longer range, so I can try and stay far away from it. And take it up here. And since you're slower with it, it, it's really good for bombs. I'm gonna take it again. Probably keep it Like sometimes the teammates, if there's one person who's good with it, they'll just let the person who keeps using it keep continuously grab it. Like, that's just strategy. Oh man, they've got the bubbler. We haven't seen the bubbler in quite a while. It used to be a pretty big part of Splatoon's meta, so I don't know why why uh, it hasn't been used all that often. Oh, the connection's unstable. How, how nice, how nice. I can't tell. Alright, okay. The no! No, we were doing this so good! We were about to win! We were about to win! Uh, that upsets me. We were about to win, too. We were gonna win. We were going to win, and we, and we got disconnected. Oh, man. That was, uh, that was bad. So I'm gonna play one more round, and then I'm gonna call it a day. But yeah, you should be getting the gist of Rainmaker. It's a, it's a pretty good mode. It's a fun mode, and that and that marks the uh, final map, the final mode. I have to explain the final multiplayer mode. That is, there, there's still loads and loads of content that we still need to go over. And I hope you all don't mind when I teach you a little something because I like to teach you all about the games I play. It's fun. I'm so glad I decided to record this in advance, because we probably wouldn't have played Rainmaker if I didn't. I don't know what I'm going to do, because I'm kind of trapped up here. Yeah, I got trapped up there, but at least we got a couple points, though. We got a couple points. Okay. So now... Oh, yes, and the pedestal you have to get is this pedestal. There's an identical one on the other side. They die. Where's the rainmaker? Okay, it's right here. So yeah. It's pretty much a race to see who gets to the end first. It's sort of like tower control in a way, but tower control but with a kind of a uh, an offense uh um I guess theme. Ooh, splash walls are deadly in, in Rainmaker. If you could block off a pathway like here, that's it for you. Also, if you notice above my uh, my character, it has a timer. Once that timer is counted down to zero, you just explode and die. Also, I don't know if they're in Splatoon 1. I'll have to take a look, though. But... Your base is called a Rainmaker Free Zone. So if you keep going back to your base, you know, for the purpose of, I guess, camping, to prevent camping, if you just, uh, go back to your base, the timer will actually tick down a lot faster than usual. Why does this... Why does the connection... Why does the connection just keep exploding and dying? And I'll have to be checked out next episode. <laughs> My connection's been bad both 
Well, two episodes in a row. It keeps failing this one, and then it wasn't even there, and then the last one. Remember that episode where there was all those disconnects? We are on that end now. I don't think any players have disconnected yet, though. I think it's just I've been getting network, network issues. It's almost like it just for the next two minutes, make sure that the the Rainmaker... Uh, you know, not just connected, that's pretty good. I'm not like can assure that the Rainmaker does not make it past 47. Oh, it made the 46! We lost the lead. That is bad. How did they not get killed by the Rainmaker exploding? Surprise! Oh god, there's a whole team here. I thought it was just that one person. It was a, literally an entire team here. All right. Now. This person right here. Good. We have to get the Rainmaker and bring it just one bit farther than them. I think that person could do it if they just rush for the uh, place. I mentioned before you can't super jump as a rain with the rainmaker, but you can be you can be super jumped too. So if you need backup, it's good. I'll tell them to come on because I gotta get them. We got a minute left. Oh, I turn my back for one minute and there's a killer whale and a hydra splatling. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we won this, but kill them if I just add it. Um... Yeah, yeah, they're gonna. I think they're gonna get a knockout. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was a good round. We all put up our best. We had a pretty early lead, and then we got wiped the floor. We got the floor wiped. How am I wording this so weird? We got wiped like. They, they wiped the floor with us, they mopped, they they got the broom and they swept us away. I got 13 kills, whoa! I got way more than everyone else on my team besides that other person with 11. So yeah, I want to thank you all for watching because this was a very, very, very fun uh, one to do because it's the final game mode we have to cover. So um, spread positivity, be kind to of another. Don't forget to be awesome and stay funky, my boys. Peace off.